I'm Mir. I'm Sophie. Hi guys, today we are reacting to the Chernobyl show. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. 2024 is going to be a great year, guys. We really appreciate everything y'all did for us in 2023, but we guarantee 2024 is going to be the year. And guys, don't forget to look at our Patreon in our description. We have full length movie and show reactions and no sync required, only one membership. So don't forget to check that out. And let's get right into it. And as for what the Atlov did do, the man doesn't deserve prison. He deserves death. Wow. wonder who they talking about. But instead, 10 years for criminal mismanagement. Oh, that's him. I thought he, I, he's doing. I thought I, I, I thought he was listening to something, but that's him talking. What happened there? What happened after? Even the good we did. All of it. Madness. So he must have been someone who's working at the plant. He was definitely someone working there, and he survived. And he was blaming some guy and said he deserved death. Like that's crazy. So is he like telecommuting? I'm confused. Oh, he was recording himself. He was recording himself. He got that tissue. I think he was recording himself on top of that tape. He was, but he got a tissue in his hand. Look like he's he sick or something. He's probably crying. I have no idea, bro. I feel like it is. Somebody is watching him. Why? People probably think he he's not alive or something. He was faking it. Okay, he brought the tapes to someone else. He is sick. Look at him. That tissue had blood on it. Yeah. He probably got ready. He could probably got uh the radiation. Radiation, yeah, in inside of him or something. What the heck? He just. Yo, he just killed himself. I'm not surprised. So maybe whatever he was saying on those tapes, well, clearly he most likely was telling the truth and saying all this stuff, and he probably didn't want to deal with I mean, what comes along he with saw, that. He saw he was going to die two years and one minute earlier. Wow. Pfft. He saw that he he saw that he was dying, and he knew what happened, like you said, so he wanted to record what happened before he died. It says two, minute, two years and one minute earlier. Cause I think time is really important. Yeah. I guess time really is what important, bombs, right? I mean, that this episode is called one, two, three, four, five. five. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So that just happened. Is that what that is? That what it is? <gasps> Clearly. What just happened? I don't know. There's a fire in the turbine hall. So Dietloff is that guy, and that's yeah. the guy that got blamed. And and was saying that he needs to be served in death. We need water moving through the core. That is all that matters. There is no core. It exploded. The core exploded. He's in shock. Get him out of here. I ain't gonna lie, he's too calm. What is bro talking about? He's, he's telling him straight up is gone. Right. Yeah, buddy. How about you go see it for yourself? Because why is he in, like, so much disbelief? Because it probably wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, wow. So I'm pretty sure this is, like, the real... That's pretty cool. Bringing everybody in. Military and civil. Pripyat. Polaskaya. Kiev. This is a big one. I wonder if he's the guy from the future we just saw who hung himself. That'd be crazy. It's covered in tar, so it's gonna burn all night and it'll stink like hell. That's it. That's the worst of it. Bro don't know about radiation. I guess. <laughs> she I guess. said she said chemicals. He said, what are you talking about? <laughs> like it's like nobody's aware of it. Or at least he didn't seem like he was. I mean, for that to be a I mean it's a bomb, so I get why I look like that, but still. Valera. Your face. What's wrong with his? What's wrong with his face? Prior to radiation. Even though I would be surprised, cause it don't look like that stuff's happening to anybody else. But I guess it affects everybody differently, cause his face did look a little red. What in the? 
don't know why that creeped me out. I thought that was something else. It's starting to happen, yeah. Because oh. it's messing up their lungs, so... Yeah, look at him. Oh, he looks horrible. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he look like he about to collapse. Oh. oh, my gosh. Yo, that looks crazy. What is that, bro? Right. Like, what the heck is all that? It's crazy that we have yet to see, like, ground zero. Like, where to happen at? Like, where the explosion happened? Is he looking at it now? Oh. I don't give a shit about the panel. I need water in my reactor core. Get down there and make sure those pumps are on. Now. He was looking about to say, like, F you. Bro, they looking at yeah, him like, like, yo, I don't <laughs> think you taking this serious, bro. I thought he would go. He was gonna be more urgent as the boss, but like, yeah. Cause he's most likely already pissed that it already went a different way the way it was supposed to. My thing is, is that why don't they have like no from like hazmat gas suits or whatever? So if something like this was to happen, they wouldn't be exposed to it as fast. They're firefighters, right? They don't. They don't have the gas thing on their face either. They should. Because even though this is, like, chemicals, this is the same thing with fires. Like, the, you know, smoke kills you faster than the fire because all those oh, um, yeah, for particles sure. and all that stuff. And this smoke is way... But that's, like, toxic fumes. Yeah, this is toxic. Like, yeah. Oh, it's silly. What's this? I don't know, Misha. Don't fuck around with it. Put these up. Come on. Well, what was that? I don't know. Some, some, some of that blew up. I don't know. The vowels, Misha. The vowels, let's go. I think something's happening to him. He touched he the... Touched that. Yeah, oh my... Wait, is it worse? Oh, no. I don't know why I just got, like, chills in my hand. Is it worse when you touch it? Yeah, something... Something radioactive. Maybe something about him touching that is probably Because when you do touch through, radioactive stuff... I, I think, wouldn't I, know. I mean, I <laughs> thought... I thought when you do touch something that's radioactive, it is worse. I, like, when you touch it. I didn't know but that. But I'm no I'm, scientist. <laughs> And he say they tasted metal. Oh no, this is bad. I don't think they're our control rods. I don't think there's a call. No, you, you're mistaken. Akimov said. Yeah, he about to show them. Is him. is that is that is that him? Cause if that's him, he gone. Oh what? my goodness. That's so sad. Hang it tight, Carl. Get on these holes. Right. Yeah, they gotta be careful, cause he simply touched that thing. Oh my goodness! I'm not gonna lie, they would have to like chop his hand off. Yeah, don't don't touch it. Don't touch that stuff. But it was crazy though, cause he had like something over his hand I, and touched I, it. Yeah, I don't think it matters. I think if something is radioactive enough and you touch it, <laughs> it can really do damage to you. I'm not gonna. I'm surprised they're still down there. I would have left. Hopefully they. Can't hope, get hopefully they don't get trapped in there, cause it seemed like he needed to keep that open. Bro, it's, it's more terrifying because I don't even know what is going like going on scientifically right now. Gosh, look at their always... faces. Look at the reaction. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Yo, Yo. That is scary. Oh my Y'all, after watching this episode, I'm gonna have to do some research on radioactivity. That I this is scarier than I thought it was. Going to the railroad bridge to get a better look. Not like anyone can sleep with all the sirens. I don't think you should go. It could be dangerous. No, y'all should stay home. <laughs> See, that's something as we're too curious sometimes. The fact that they think it's just a fire is, is crazy. And even if it was, why would you want to go near something like that? Like, even in general. <laughs> Top to not take him. He's delusional. He is... 
Ruptured condenser lines, the feed water is mildly contaminated. It'll be fine, I've seen worse. Do we still have a phone line to the outside? Yeah. Bro, he's what ignoring, is wrong? Yeah, he is ignoring everything what right now, is which is wrong crazy. With him? Maybe he needs to go there and see it himself. Yeah, I don't know, because like, I... I'm going to the administration building now to call Brokhanov and Fameen. They're going to want a full report. But I don't know if I can make things better for you, but I can certainly make them worse. He is insane. Yeah, I couldn't work for someone like that. That's, I'm sorry. Because clearly all he think about is, like, oh, wow, my, my goal is messed up. Y'all have to fix it. He's not looking at anything else, which is ridiculous. It seems too, like, repetitive. Because why does he keep saying it? He's not even looking at anything or, like, he's just like, oh, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Like, bro, go look at what happened. Do we stock iodine? Hmm? Iodine. You mean disinfectant? No, pills. Does the hospital stock iodine pills? Iodine pills? Why would we have iodine pills? What is iodine pills? Do they stop iodine? Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah, whatever it's called. She must, she must know something that she he's not thinking of. Have you called Famin? Of course, I want you to call him. If I'm up, he's up. Oh, that's the guy. But I'm not gonna lie. It's hard to tell because I'm no, not. I think really, that is him. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> Man, waking up, going to work. Waking up like that. <laughs> <laughs> he do seem irritated. Getting up out of bed and waking up, that's, that is irritating. But this is serious, man. 2.30 a.m. Oh, I'll be asleep. We ran the test exactly as Chief Engineer Fermin approved. Unit Shift Chief Akimov and Engineer Topdanov encountered technical difficulties leading to an accumulation of hydrogen in the control system tank. It regrettably ignited, damaging the plant, setting the roof on fire. Stop. I like right. how he, I like how he, he didn't mention him, right? he didn't mention his name not one time. Now that's just that's just insane. We're taking measures to ensure a steady flow of water through the core. There is no core. Yeah. Like we even know that, and I'm not even a scientist. Like he come just on, said bro. there's no radiation. Three point six rungen per hour. Well, that's not great, but it's not horrifying. Not at all. From the feed water, I assume. That was three point six was the limit. Like it's like he's he wasn't listening. Yeah. It was the highest he could go. Right. I'll call Marion. Have them wake up the local executive committee. There'll be orders coming down. You he right. He's making them faces because he know he wrong. It's the fact that he really didn't mention everything and didn't put his name in it at all. Like what's this gonna be this whole show gonna be him just denying that he ever had anything to do with it? <laughs> like he wasn't one of the supervisors there? Like stop it, bro. If you do a glass of vodka an hour for four hours. Isn't Yuri a plumber? At the nuclear power plant. <laughs> yeah. I hope none of these people get radiation. But then again. The fact that they uh, out there, yeah. I don't it, think. But it was a pretty big and loud explosion. So True, but don't go towards danger. Yeah, look at the particles. It's gonna start affecting them. I like I like I like how they doing that. Right, because they probably can't see it. But they're, it's really visualizing like what's really going on as they're standing. I, yes. I was gonna say I was gonna wait until we were done the episode, but I was saying like yeah, the visuals on here is crazy. Oh mm. my gosh. Uh, uh, I mean, you were right. Innocent baby. You were right. Why are they just out there? I get. Like, I know like, why, but... Like but... I said, I feel like even if something was a fire, why would you go towards danger? Like, it's a fire. Why would you go towards it? Why would you want to go see it? And they're, and they're not knowing what's going on, and they're just enjoying it. Do you have a cigarette? That's crazy. He's still alive. And the fact that nobody can get in, kind of, so they just, like, in there... Yeah. Kind of just, like, suffering is, is like... It's crazy. I need the guy to go down there himself. Oh gosh, what is that? Can water be radioactive? No, I was about to say, is he, is he crying or? Water can be radioactive, right? Oh, is that dumb? Oh, that's dumb. <laughs> that's dumb, that's the firefighters, okay. I thought it was raining. I think it's time we No, we have to get water into the core, otherwise there'll be a meltdown. We have to open the valves. Sasha, what do you want, Boris? If it's true, then we're dead. A million people are dead. Is that what you need to hear? 
like, oh, he's like, well, you want to accept the fact that this really happened? You know, what like I'm also it happened. It too? already blew up. It's already affecting a, bo- a bunch but of people. But you know what I'm thinking too? A lot of what's happening right now and how they're how it's getting treated blindly also shows that they probably wasn't educated on like how that stump how that stuff is harmful if it was to bro- to to blow up. You know. Gentlemen, welcome. Please, uh... This time frame is crazy. 5.20 in the morning. They've asked me to brief you on matters as they stand. So, first, the accident is well under control. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. See, that's where they, that's where they just uh... messed up at, because they just lying. There's more radiation than they're saying. We have wives here. We have children. I say we evacuate the town. Now that's a smart man. Yeah, right I was about there. to say that. <laughs> the air is glowing. The Cherenkov effect, completely normal phenomenon, can happen with minimal radiation. He know what he's talking about. <laughs> Yo, it's kind of crazy how they really like. But remember what I said though? I said, not... why are they treating this thing as if they didn't know or what it what could happen? I don't think they want people to panic, but that's so dangerous. They should simply be told to keep their minds on their labor and leave matters of the state to the state. We seal off the city. No one leaves. He crazy. See, I thought I was gonna like him, but I don't. We will all be rewarded for what we do here tonight. This is our moment to shine. This is why is disgusting. It, why is it their moment to shine? Am I missing something? This is all government control. That's yeah, that's what it's given. It's given like they just want to keep everything under control. Not that when one it's guy, not. he didn't like it, which I salute to him, but one person isn't enough to de- to actually defend the truth. We found another decimeter from the military fire department. It only goes to 200 Ronkin, but it's better than the small ones. And? It maxed out. <laughs> yeah. It's like every time they're trying to tell them something, it goes in one ear and out yeah. the other. Because <laughs> they're not hearing him right now. They don't want to believe it. They're being delusional. I walked around the exterior of Building 4. I think there's graphite on the ground in the rubble. You didn't see graphite. There's graphite. Graphite. That's what it is. And it's probably very radioactive. Yeah. That's what that guy touched. Are you suggesting the core... What? Exploded. It, 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 it did. It, oh it exploded. Gosh. It's they, graphite it, all on the floor, everywhere. <laughs> these, I'm sorry. These men are delusional and stupid. I see why people like this show, because this is annoying me right now. But it did. Enough. I'll go up to the vent block roof from there. You can look right down into reactor building four. I'll see it with my own, my own eyes. <laughs> Yeah. You, oh my goodness. Yeah. Yo, almost just paused. I hate seeing people throw up, by the way. Oh my God, wait. Yo, yo oh, I don't know why. get him to the hospital, whatever he needs, but. Wait, I don't know why I'm reacting like this, but this is so crazy. It's crazy because people in power, they just be overlooking stuff, but the people that actually works on the machines and all that, they never want to believe them. When they're literally trying to tell them the truth. Been around it all night. No. It's the feed water. He been around it all night. Yo, this is crazy. If I was him, I would just leave. Go to the Van Block roof and report back what you see. <sighs> I'm not going I'm not going yeah. nowhere near that thing. You'll be fine. You'll see. Come on. You ain't about to force me. I'm a grown man. You ain't about to force me to go nowhere. That's you, insane. You could fire me. I would just walked off. You're not forcing me to go that's nowhere. The fact that they, come on, he can beat that little guard up. I'm not losing my life for the job. Yeah. Fire me. First of all, <laughs> the job the job is already else. done. Ain't no there's nowhere else right. to work at. That factory is gone now. The minute that blows up, I'm jobless. Cool. That's true. That's true. Jobless. So I don't gotta while. listen to you anymore. That's how I would have been. <laughs> All the way, okay? All the way up. <laughs> I feel bad for them, though. I'm not gonna lie. That's like really sad. I told you, we did nothing wrong. But we did. 
He said, but we did. Right. So dumb what? two was dumb two was dumb two was in that main control control panel room. So maybe it was something maybe that it was they did stuff. that was under day uh Diat Diatlov's order right. that they did. You know, and that's, they're regretting. But then, no, but I think that's why the guy with the blonde hair, he's saying we did something wrong because he feel like even though it was an order, he still didn't. When the other one is saying, like, well, it was an order we was given, so we can't put that blame on ourselves. That's what I was trying to say, yes. His face probably burnt. No way. Yeah. That's so dumb. Just, they all, him and that other guy. I thought I was going to like him, but he doing the same exact thing, too. The old man, the really old. Yeah. Whoa. The one that just forced that. The that, really um, old man. No, the one with the glasses. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, yo, this is bad. Oh, that was the guy that loved his wife. That was that firefighter. Now you see. Okay. I mean, I thought he'd been seeing something. Like, he didn't I, go outside. He bro. never went outside. He stayed in that control panel room. And where are where they, they telling him? Where are they telling yeah, him? Yeah, please. Why didn't they turn? Come on. I want to know what they're saying because they yelling at him. That is crazy. Dang. That's actually crazy to see, man. You a nurse or something, you seeing all these trucks coming into your building one yeah. after one after one. That's the guy, Sophie. I see any contamination. This is mine. The plant manager, Bruchanov, is reporting 3.6 Rontgen per hour. That's actually significant. You should evacuate the surround. You're an expert on RBMK. He just told him to evacuate. <laughs> we'll convene at 2 this afternoon. Late. Forgive me, but uh, don't you think, given the amount of radiation, that it would? Be... You're on this. It's the fact that they don't, yo. He, like he's not yeah. even letting him talk. He's not even let. He literally said he's literally calling him for a reason, but don't want to hear him out. Right. <laughs> yes, of course. I didn't mean. To... Yeah, that sucks. They're they're coming to him with these concerns, but they don't want to hear his perspective. And but we... expects him to like report on it and we know two years from now he kills himself because they probably brought him there closer to it oh my gosh it don't matter oh my it don't matter it's the same thing like the canadian wildfire how it came all the way to the u.s Damn, that's crazy, bro. Bird just freaking died. Now. Just off of the radiation, man. When I watch stuff like this, it makes me sad. Because there's always innocent people losing their lives to the pride and ignorance of the people at the top. Now, there's a lot of things wrong I was finding with how... The situation was being handled. Like I get this. This was um. This happened like what the nineteen eighties. Even though this hap, even though this happened in the late eighties, you can still definitely like being alive now, like two thousand twenty four. You can definitely see a difference in procedures and, and and precautions that these facilities take. And it was really interesting to me because this is like a little sidetrack. But I took an art class and. They showed how throughout the years, like in um in the hospital, how a lot of things was innovated. Like I don't know if you knew this, but you know, like in earlier times, like they didn't used to like um sanitize and disinfect like the surgery stuff, and oh, that's wow. how they were spreading diseases. So off the rip, as I'm watching this, I'm mm. like, okay. Even though the one, even though that guy, like oh my gosh, I forgot his name, but he was being such an a hole. He was Dead love. Yeah, him. Diet love. Even though he's <clears> taking <throat> it, the situation minimal, I'm surprised that he still didn't make any, like... Effort. Effort to show, like, okay, even though this is happening, guys, or I have to go put this on or let's go do this. He was ignoring the whole thing. Another thing that, that was also making me question it is because 
if you build something, shouldn't you always be prepared to like if something went wrong and what would happen if it go wrong? So to me, it's like y'all built this bomb or whatever it was, and it was just something a, went something. It was a power plant. It was a power plant station. But this power plant. They didn't know how it blew up though. It don't matter. My thing is, it's like, a, how do you build something and you're not aware of what would happen if it was to blow up? There was, they was too stuck in the thought like this would never blow up, nothing would ever happen. Where now it happened and y'all not taking anything that's happening seriously. That was very concerning. Well, it said they were just doing a regular routine and. What are you talking about? Happened. When all those guys came into the room, they literally was doing this power plant to defend themselves into, um, against the U.S. They literally was talking about it was supposed to be a nuclear weapon huh no it wasn't yes it is he said the the, the room so (laughs) he said the room that they were in was for if the americans attacked with nuclear weapons he says so we should be safe down here he didn't say the station was a nuclear weapon he said it was a nuclear power station you know what a power plant is we have power plants everywhere around the world um, this one. I never heard of him. J- <laughs> I'm just being honest. I don't know why he's laughing. Anyway, this one just so happens. Can you stop clapping your hands. <laughs> like, relax. Stop. This one just so happens to explode. And I was just trying to get the point across of how that guy, when he was being questioned, even though it exploded, they genuinely had no idea how. But maybe in the next couple of episodes, we'll figure out what happened. Because remember, they were uh, down there turning the water valves and saying like how they what they were wrong in doing. Listening to Dietloff. He's probably the cause of this is, is why it happened. And he's trying to make it seem like he's not. So. So my thing is that... You're saying that, okay, you're basically saying that even though this power plant blew up, the reason why Dautilov and whatever his name was, the reason why they was acting like that is because they never knew what would happen if it was to blow up. But my thing is, like, there's clearly signs of the people you're working along with, and he just kept ignoring them, saying, like, oh, yeah, it's something in this. Like, this is the reason why they're throwing up. When he knows, he was just trying to ignore the problem. He and was that trying to ignore older the problem. Guy, that older guy that called it Chernobyl, he expressed it perfectly like how whatever's going on is not meant to be reached to the civilians and people because they don't want them in panic and that they have to keep themselves in a certain position so they have to keep the um what's that word the panicking very low i mean it was a lot of stuff they were saying when i was like dang that's crazy but yeah this is crazy it's making me want to like literally do research not even i thought you said you didn't like what the old guy was saying i didn't like what he was saying but i was saying how what he was saying was like really interesting like wow this is how people in these high positions work i was saying that they obviously know that something's wrong and yes they should be prepared to like deal with it but they, I said they don't know how, Sylvie. They didn't know how well, it happened. I they were saying they didn't know how it happened. I, he was like, I don't know. He was like, I don't know how it could explode. He was like, how could a nuclear reactor explode? He said, I don't know. Okay, my thing is, like, okay, you know? exploded. Like, when he said he saw graphite, they just said, like, no, you didn't. Like, <laughs> why would you say you saw graphite? Because that's indicating, like, it clearly it blew clearly up. And blew they don't want to believe I know, I know. that I'm it blew saying, up. So I'm saying, saying, regardless of their perspective <laughs> on it, Oh, well, how did it blow up? Well, it blew up. Go do something that can help it. And I feel like they kept sacrificing all of their workers and treating them like they're animals, which is insane. It's insanity. And now, by the end of the this episode, you see all those toxic fumes now getting to people that's just living their regular day life. And that's like, that's messed up. And I think that's definitely what the second episode is going to touch on. If you guys like the video <laughs> if y'all smash the like button and comment and show us support and show us support on this episode we really are interested to see what's going on let us know if y'all are interested to see the rest of our reaction to this and we hope y'all enjoyed and we will see y'all on the next one perfect